When we look up at the firmament on starry nights, we realize time and again how small we actually are. The countless twinkling stars and celestial bodies impressively show us the diversity and the gigantic vastness of the cosmos. In view of this, one might think that the universe as a whole is a place of exuberant abundance. But does this correspond to reality? The sobering answer to this question is no. In fact, some observations of the experts turn our common picture of the universe completely upside down. According to this, there are enormous areas in the cosmos that are characterized by an oppressive emptiness. What these galactic cavities actually are, and which discoveries we have already collected in this connection, you'll find out in today's video. Excited about the groundbreaking phenomena and mind-blowing spectacles in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics. Show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Filaments and Voids Before we get into the gigantic voids in the universe, let's first take a general look at filaments and voids. In the cosmological world, filaments refer to those thread-like connections of visible and dark matter that are found between galaxy clusters and superclusters. Those areas are characterized above all by their extremely high galaxy density. Against this background, the structure of the cosmos on the largest known scales can be compared with a net or a honeycomb structure. Those regions which are enclosed by this cosmic net are called voids by the experts. However, in relation to their intrinsic volume, there are remarkably few gravitationally bound stellar assemblies within the voids. The theories dealing with this exciting topic must therefore be able to explain the formation and the spatial arrangements of the voids. That we are dealing with gigantic constructs is shown by a look at their approximate size, which is given as 326 million light years. The astronomical length of the light year corresponds to the distance that light travels in a vacuum within one year, about 5.88 trillion miles. Let us now assume that the intrinsic velocity of a galaxy is 370 miles per second. In this case, the collection of stars would take more than 160 billion years to completely pass through an average-sized void. To put this into perspective, however, the universe itself is only 13.8 billion years old. Against this background, it therefore seems anything but likely that the origin of the voids is due to the outward motion of galaxies. Consequently, it is more likely that both voids and galaxies once formed approximately where they are today. Thus, the galactic voids reflect the original distribution of galaxies at the time of their birth. But which factor could have been responsible for this cosmic arrangement already at that time? The ordinary matter was much too homogeneous in the early cosmos to have been able to create such gravitational constructs. To approach the answer to this question, we must therefore venture on a detour into the field of the unknown, more precisely, into dark matter. Although experts agree that this form of matter has a significant influence on the motions of visible matter, it still embodies a great mystery. To understand how the filaments of the cosmos shape themselves in reality, it's worth taking a look at our local Milky Way. Together with the Andromeda Galaxy, the other representatives of the local group, the Virgo Galaxy Cluster, the Heart of the Coma Cluster, as well as the Leo Galaxy Cluster, we are also part of a gigantic filament. It's in the nature of things that from our point of view, it is not possible to fully comprehend our filament. In fact, so far, experts have only been able to identify one directly visible indication of filaments, and that is the cloud of gas, at least two million light years across, that surrounds the quasar UM-287. Bote's Void why the Bote's Void is informally also called the Big Nothing becomes clear to us if we take a look at the dimensions of this enormous cosmic cavity viewed from Earth in the constellation of Bote's, which gives it its name. 
This approximately spherical area has a diameter of 300 million light years. This corresponds to about 0.27% of the diameter of the observable universe. With a volume of almost 236,000 cubic megaparsecs, it is one of the largest known voids ever. As a result, this gaping void is also known as a supervoid. Strictly speaking, the term void is not quite correct. After Bote's void was discovered in 1981, the research of the following years showed that the cavity contains a few galaxies. Currently, the corresponding number of bound star assemblies is put at 60. In terms of volume, however, there would be room for about 2,000 galaxies. The U.S. American astronomer Greg Aldering refers to the following example. If our Milky Way were in the center of the Bote's void, we would have found out only in the 60s that still further galaxies exist beside ours. Eridanus Supervoid Whoever believes that the Bote's void represents the be-all end-all for cosmic cavities is wrong. In fact, there are much more powerful structures in the cosmos, which make the just-presented void appear much smaller. The Eridanus Supervoid which is also known as the CMB cold spot, belongs to those areas. Located in the constellation Eridanus, this region attracted attention when an unusually large deviation of the cosmic microwave background radiation was registered in it. In detail, the average temperature deviation is given at 2.7 Kelvin. Even if the exact background of this cold spot is not yet completely clarified, it's conceivable that it's due to a gigantic supervoid. The fact that this region appears cooler than the other areas from our terrestrial point of view is again due to the so-called Sachs-Wolf effect. If the supervoid theory is confirmed, the construct would have a diameter of about 1 billion light years and would exceed the usual volume of its counterparts by a thousand times. The thesis that Laura Mersini Houghton puts forward in this regard seems to be as controversial as it is exciting. According to it, the Eridanus supervoid is in truth the imprint of a parallel universe. Before the two worlds were separated in the context of the cosmic inflation from each other, the quantum entanglement caused that the signature of this strange cosmos is visible up to the present day. Giant Void The dimensions of the giant void are not less impressive than the dimensions of the Eridanus supervoid. Also within this area, which is located in the constellation Hunting Dogs, we find remarkably few galaxies with respect to the volume. So far, 17 clusters of galaxies have been identified there, coming together in a spherical region 50 megaparsecs in diameter. Despite this compact arrangement, observations have shown that the individual galaxy clusters in the giant void are not subject to mutual interaction. This leads to the conclusion that the density of the clusters must be exceedingly low. With an estimated diameter of 1 to 1.3 billion light years, the giant void was the largest known cavity in the cosmos at the time of its discovery in 1988. In the meantime, however, this title has been taken by the void Lowe's North 13788, whose extension is given with nearly 3 billion light years. With a diameter of 2 billion light years, the KBC void ranks second if it really exists in its assumed form. If this should be the case, then the gigantic area would enclose also our domestic Milky Way. Repulsive Cavities Basically, if the mass in the cosmos were homogeneously distributed, filaments and voids should not actually exist. Consequently, the gravitational forces on a place would neutralize each other, and no proper motions would be set in motion. However, a look at the actual structures of the universe shows that the exact opposite is the case. There are areas with above average as well as areas with below average matter concentration. The largest structures, in other words, galaxy clusters, are known to have an attractive force on matter, while in the sparsely populated voids, consequently, a lack of attraction prevails. Or in other words, voids possess a repulsive effect. And indeed, in the overall context, this characteristic seems to have an even greater impact than the attraction of the shapely supercluster or the great attractor. 
As one of the most massive structures in the observable universe, the gravitational pull of the great attractor is so strong that it even slows the drifting apart of the surrounding galaxy clusters. And the Shapely supercluster, the largest known cluster of galaxies, is also thought to be involved in this process. The assumption that the influence of the void repulsion is larger than the attractive forces of the galaxy clusters is based on the alignment of the motion vectors. While this still points precisely away from the void, in the case of the voids, it points only in the rough direction of the large mass clusters. And now we want your opinion. What do you think about the mysterious voids we introduced to you today? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.